Thingscape is the LMS that Enable Education donates to FIRST to use as their LMS. We have developed an API that allows our teams in class packs to access the courses associated with their account through the dashboard. Utilize the Access Thingscape button to access courses from the dashboard. All coaches and mentors have access to content located in Thingscape. As you access Thingscape, you will see courses that correspond to the program you are associated with. First, LEGO League coaches have a course that they can access with resources for students, but cannot enter students into the LMS. First Robotics Competition lead Mentor 1 and 2, First Tech Challenge lead Mentor 1 and 2, and First Tech Challenge Class Pack purchasers have access to enter students into the LMS and track student progress. This means that mentors come over to the LMS in a teacher role. Each team gets their own institution where they enter their own students. This keeps student data records available only to the teacher designated in the institution. If you access Thinkscape in several different ways, you may be part of multiple institutions. You can switch between institutions with the drop down you see here at the top right hand side. Once in Thinkscape, you may see several different courses available. All lead mentors one and two have available the EDNI course as well as youth protection courses. It's recommended that mentors and coaches take these courses. You will then have courses associated with your respective team. The top ribbon contains your profile information as well as copies of the policies you accepted upon entrance. You can add your email to this profile and change your password. This will allow you to bypass accessing Thinkscape through the dashboard in the future. You will also see student view and admin view. If you see student view, then you are in admin view. If you see admin view, then you are in student view. Students do not have an admin view. To view a course as a student, simply click on the course and the course will load and record your progress. For programs that can manage students and see student progress, continue to watch the video to learn more. To add students to the course, you will go to Manage Institution. We have to enter students into the institution database before we can add them to the course. Click on Institution Users. You can send an invitation to a student's email, although it's not recommended, because often students can have a firewall that blocks them from receiving it. It is suggested to enter students by using the Import Users button. Ensure that Enter User Details manually is checked and click Select Import Option. Here you can enter a student name and a username. It is recommended to use aliases for students, not student names and emails, to protect student data privacy. Once you have entered the students, click Confirm User Import. Next, you can enter students into classrooms. A new feature we have added this year is to assign particular modules to a classroom. So I might have a beginner pathway or an intermediate pathway for students. I would also like to have a programming class just for the programmers. So I have set those classrooms up here. Now we need to add users to a particular classroom. We do that by clicking the gear and then clicking edit classroom. I can select from the users drop down the students I would like to add in the classroom. I'm going to create a teacher classroom for the teacher content also so students don't see it. Now we have our students and our students assigned to classrooms. Next, we want to manage the courses students see. We're going to use uh, the first Tech Challenge class pack for this example. I want to add modules to an introductory path and an advanced path. The getting started guide is for teachers, so I will add it to the teacher classroom I created. The starting with workforce module is for everyone, so I will add it to both my beginner and advanced classrooms. Machines to mechanisms is for my advanced level students. So we will select it for the advanced class. You can go through and do this for any courses, including the team's courses. For instance, in FRC, we might to have, want to have a programming group and I can add the two programming modules to this classroom. To view student progress, you click on the blue dashboard icon. 
it will come up with the module list and the progress a student has completed. All of the courses report only on time and percent complete, not necessarily individual scores on any interactive elements in the content. You can get an idea if a student just scrolled through the content or actually spent time in it by referring to the time spent. So if a student only spent 1.8 seconds on a module, then they probably just scrolled through it. Most of the content has self-assessments and other me measurements, such as engineering notebooks or learning portfolios, which are better shared in another format that you already use. We hope this has helped you better understand how to use Thinkscape and help students in your courses.